Today, we are going to compare two popular cameras. The Canon ELF 115 is and Canon ELF 135. We are going to take a look at their features, who they are for, how they perform in various use cases, user experiences, and which one is the right one for you. Links to both of the cameras will be listed in the description below. Let's get started. The Canon ELF 115 is and the Canon ELF 135 are two digital cameras that were officially introduced respectively in the 29th of January 2013 and the 12th of February 2014. Let's take a look at how their specs compare to each other. We tested both cameras to assess their performance in different scenarios. Let's take a closer look at our ratings for each of them. Here are our ratings for the Canon ELF 115 is. For portrait photography, we will give it a 4 out of 10 rating. For street photography, we will give it a 7 out of 10 rating. For sports photography, we will give it a 3 out of 10 rating. For day-to-day -day photography, we will give it a 7 out of 10 rating. For landscape photography, we will give it a 3 out of 10 rating. Here are our ratings for the Canon ELF 135. For portrait photography, we will give it a 4 out of 10 rating. For street photography, we will give it a 7 out of 10 rating. For sports photography, we will give it a 3 out of 10 rating. For day-to-day -day photography, we will give it a 7 out of 10 rating. For landscape photography, we will give it a 3 out of 10 rating. Next, we will take a look at some sample photos from the Canon ELF 115 is and the Canon ELF 135. Keep in mind that these photos have editing done to them, so the result from your camera might be different. Let's start with the sample photos. Here are some sample photos from the Canon ELF 115 is. And here are some sample photos from the Canon ELF 135. Next, let's take a look at what other users of these cameras have to say about them. Here's what people have to say about the Canon ELF 115 is. I purchased this point-and-shoot camera because it uses the same memory card as my DSLR and it only cost around $80. I haven't used it on a project yet, but the low-light picture quality has exceeded my expectations. I'm looking forward to testing it in bright light conditions. I also appreciate that the memory card can be used in almost any laptop without needing a special cable. If my company doesn't reimburse me for the purchase, it's still a great value for the money. The camera is very small and suits my needs for taking pictures. The battery charger is larger than the camera, but it fits nicely in my purse. It takes videos but is a bit slow for snapshots. For the price it's useful, but for serious photography an upgrade might be necessary. It doesn't come with a cable for downloading to the computer or a scan disk. It was difficult to open the battery door and insert the battery and scan disk. A better battery door would be helpful. Overall, it's a decent camera for the price. Here's what people have to say about the Canon ELF 135. I have been using the Canon PowerShot for 2.5 years and I am extremely satisfied with its performance. The camera has endured heavy use during camping and hiking trips and still works perfectly despite some scuffs. The picture quality is great, especially in natural daylight, and the video recording is what you would expect from a 720 recording. I highly recommend I bought this digital camera, and it has been amazing. It's inexpensive, easy to use, and takes quality pictures. I had a problem with close-up pictures at first, but found the setting in the menu to fix it. The memory card holds lots of pictures, and the battery is easy to charge. The accessory kit was a great addition, and the camera is still working perfectly after 5 years. It's the best money I ever spent. To conclude, here are our overall ratings for both of these cameras. Canon ELF 115 is, we will give it an overall rating of 5 out of 10. Canon ELF 135, we will give it an overall rating of 5 out of 10. 